Hey guys, I'm ZSH Plays. Welcome back to the Wetlands, Florida. I've just received the save file back from Romano Palacios. So let's take a look at our new flamingo trail. Ooh yeah, wow. Look at that giant flamingo. Oh, it's so lush. I haven't seen this at all, but I knew, <laughs> I knew that it would be plant central in here and it looks absolutely amazing. Where are we? So that's the amphibians away over there. Here's the Binturong. And this is the Flamingo Trail. Let's take a look. Oh God, it just feels so tropical. Flamingo Trail, a Romano Palacios Gardens design. I love this Flamingo. This is some great theming. Let's go in. Oh wow. That is very nice indeed. Oh my god, look at all these. What are these? Like flowers made out of metal. Oh, that's really cool. Apparently this was inspired by the Royal Horticultural Society's uh, exhibition this year, which is like a big gardening event that we hold here in England every year. I've got to be honest, I'm not big on gardening. <laughs> so it might be slightly wasted on me. Obviously, Romano Palacios knows a lot about this kind of thing. He's a big fan. I think he's actually studying to be a landscape gardener as we speak. And I'm sure he is going to be a big success looking at this. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, look at the pool as well. A proper concrete pool. Much better than the ones I make. Oh my God, this is amazing. All these plants. Let's see what else we've got on this trail. Oh my God, there's more. <laughs> oh, this is really immersive. I love the fact that there's flamingos on both sides. And another one of those big flowers in the background there. Oh God, and these trees. Oh, I made a custom tree uh, right at the start of this zoo with all this moss on, I was really proud of. But it looks like Romano Palacios has made a way better one. <laughs> Good work. That's so much better than mine. I love that. These are going all over the zoo now. Absolutely everywhere. Oh, this is so good. Look at this. Oh, I'm going to have to seriously up my game for the rest of this zoo now <laughs> to fit in. Oh, there's like a viewing gallery and another flamingo. Oh my God. This is exquisite. Oh my God. Oh, they're everywhere. <laughs> How many flamingos are in here? I gotta find out. 16, oh, okay. He's used multiple habitats. Wow. And more flamingos. Oh, this is so good. There's like infinite viewing spaces. And look how close you can get to them. Wow. And you can walk right under this one and just look at the planting. It's just unbelievable. This is exactly what I expected <laughs> from Romano Palacios. I knew the planting would be amazing, but the habitat as well is just incredible. And these are those giant flowers. And this leads us out to the Nile Leshway habitat. Wow, that is so cool. All right, let's take a look at this from up in the air. I wanna put this in context. So this is the, the Binturong habitat. And straight away, there's just planting everywhere around this flamingo habitat. 
Now the planting in this Sioux purposefully that I've done is very limited to just a few species because I really wanted to get that Everglades feel. Now for this central garden, obviously with it being a Romano Palacius build, you do not want to limit this guy to <laughs> two plants. So this is a much more formal garden where we can really go crazy with all the different types of plants and it just looks so lush. I absolutely love it. I love how it is a proper trail. So we've got multiple habitats on either side of this path. So as a guest, you are surrounded by plants and flamingos wherever you go. It is pretty huge. So the way we did this is when I first laid out the park, I put, in fact, if we zoom out, I put a big flamingo lake in right there. And then we go down to what's gonna be the alligator walk through down here. And so I asked Romano Palacios to build his lake in the same location as my lake. But um, if he wanted to just delete the lake and start again, that was fine. I actually did this with a height map. So I literally just drew all the water in the zoo in Photoshop and then imported it as a height map. So I had a sort of a nice simple template of where everything was gonna go. But obviously having been drawn freehand in Photoshop, the, uh, the water bodies were not the, uh, not the best. So I've been editing them as and when I get to them. So I just told Romano Palacios to delete the lake that I'd built and build his own lake and just make sure it was basically in the same place, which is what he's done. Oh, look at these flamingos down here. That's brilliant. And yeah, this is just amazing. I am so happy with this. I want to say a massive thank you to Romano Palacios for doing this build for us. This is absolutely amazing and so much better than what I would have done for the flamingos. Wow. So next up is going to be the Spectacle Cayman Habitat, which I'm going to be building. I may be using a little bit of help from Romano Palacios on that as well. He actually built a complete flamingo habitat sent it to me and then about two minutes later said no i've had a better idea i'm going to delete that and um, build a completely different one instead and i was like i've only seen one screenshot but it looks amazing you can't delete that so i had him blueprint it and i think the plan is that we're going to take that blueprint and then i'm going to build one of our modernist concrete monstrosities that we like on this channel to sit in the middle of it and have a really nice contrast. But um, we will see how that goes, but it will definitely be the spectacle came in next week. Thank you so much for watching as always, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.